Wizards, Oracle Arena, Washington Wizards, facing the Golden State Wolves for joining us as we get set to be on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. So Golden State will get the first possession. And now Washington's starting group. The great pair of Wall and Beal are at the guard spots. Otto Porter Jr. out there with Markeith Morris. And it's Gortat in at the center. Thompson for three from beyond the arc and then some. Thompson's got the first three points tonight for the Warriors. Well, nobody really knew, Greg, what to make of Washington going into last year's playoffs. They came out strong with a big sweep against a pretty good Raptors team. Yeah, how about taking them down four straight? And it was the first time a team has swept an opponent without home court advantage since 2011. Also, was the first sweep for the Wizards in franchise history. Mm, that's good. You know, a huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. And he came off that screen, and the D just didn't get over the top of it. Yep, weren't there in time enough to challenge Greg, and when that's the case, you can mark those up for him. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. The Wizards have gone two or three here to start out the game. Thompson against Wall. Beal dishes to Morris. It's good. And he makes his first. His advantage is as big as it was there. I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. Curry against Wall. Can't get it to go. Wall with some nice defense. The Wizards have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. And it's blocked by Curry. And here we go with Thompson running it up the court. And finished off by LeBron. That's a terrific sequence at both ends of the floor. They block the shot and recover it for the fast break finish. Wall against Thompson. And the Wizards hit again from deep. There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't DM up more tightly on the perimeter. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? I caught up with Coach Randy Whitman. A big factor in this game, he said, is how well they do to contain the young shooter, Clay Thompson, saying, Thompson. Can really give you trouble coming off screens. We've got to have all out energy fighting to stay on his hip, and then we need to pressure on the ball handler to try and delay the pass. Kevin, both jobs are hard. Thanks a lot, Doris. Out of bounds, Golden State takes possession. And the thing great about Marchin Gortat, he's not a high flyer. He's not a super flexible athlete. But he's one of the best centers in the league because he's tough. And he's worked hard on developing his skills. And he always, always hustles. Yeah, and he fights for position mm. down low. A, a terrific screener. Does a lot of that dirty work. And he's also very good at passing the basketball. You know, a, a lot more skilled, particularly in the pick and roll, than maybe people give him credit for. He can hurt a defense in a surprising number of ways. Curry can't get it to go. I think it's going to be tough for them to trim this deficit if he keeps missing those kinds of shots, Kevin. I mean, they need his points. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character. Oh! oh well, that pass break went according to plan. Yeah, nice job there, Greg. Recognizing the opportunity was there to push it, and then excellent execution. And that replay is sponsored by Kia, the Kia Slam Cam, giving us a great look at that one. And Beal kicks to Gortat, stolen by O'Neal. And pushing up his Golden State Warriors again in transition. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on John Wall. That is his first foul of the game. And some changes here for the Warriors. Durant's checked in for Draymond Green. And Carmelo Anthony has subbed in for LeBron. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Nene, he's checked in for Gortat. Dudley comes in for Markeith Morris. Marcus Thornton, he's checked in for Porter. And Sessions subbed in for John Wall. 
Well, I'll tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. It really has, and they've created a lot of high percentage shots in the paint here already. Nice ball movement by Washington. The three from Dudley, and Curry pulls it down. Well, that defense went from four to no defense at all. Oh! Here's Beal, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. And everybody out of the way. I mean, clear the lane. We've got some rims to wrap. What a sensational play to get to the rack for the slam. Strong interior move. Aggressive, assertive, and effective. Curry. Another miss by Curry. He's been wayward and just off on about everything he's put up in this period. Ramon Sessions on the assist from Beal. Three consecutive baskets have come right at the rim. Defense had better start buckling down and tightening up. Guys, they are getting exposed in terms of their low post defense. Sessions against Curry. Back to Shaq from downtown. Can't get it to go. Now Washington takes it. the other way and right from the start Kevin they've been pounding the glass most of those 50 50 balls also going their way. well I don't think there's any question about it they came focused and ready to play I mean they're doing everything they can to um, put things in their favor you earn that and they're actually earning it well right now sixteen seconds left to play here in the first there's the pass to Thornton he wants to get it to Nene and does. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. That's on Shaq. Clearly a foul. Yeah, he took a shot there. Earned those free throws. The Wizards shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Free throw good, Nene. And both free throws good for Nene. They get a hand on it. Temple the pass to Sessions. And Thornton kicks to Temple. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Temple's got his first two points. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. Washington out in front. They're up by eight. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. Kevin Durant, former MVP, still feels like he has room to... I think it's another level I can go to. Yeah. Well, the will seems to be there, Greg, but Kevin Durant seems surrounded by uncertainty. Can he get that and stay healthy for the entire season? How, how does he work with his new coach? Where does he really want to be? You know, the truth is, no one but Kevin knows the answers to those questions. And, and quite frankly, he may not know right now what those answers are. Uh, he's a very unique and introspective kind of guy, as we all saw when he accepted that MVP award a couple years ago. So let's just stay tuned on this one. Four, three. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Wizards. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. So Golden State will get the first possession. 
and now Washington's starting group. The great pair of Wall and Beal are at the guard spots. Bortat is out there with Marquis Morris, and it's Porter in at the three slot. Well, you think about Stephen Curry, and your first thought is he's a remarkable three-point shooter. That's right. But he's not just a long-range threat. Yeah, I see him as a shot maker, one of the league's top mid-range shooters off the pull-up, too, and he's a creative finisher. Floaters and backspin shots, English high off the glass. Again, the best shot maker, I think, in the history of the game. Two on the clock. Wall, that's good. How about the screen that frees him up, though, for the jumper? Well, now we go to Doris Burke, who spoke with Randy Whip. Doris? There haven't been many players that have the physical prowess of LeBron James, and he knows that this is going to pose a lot of problems for his team. He told me the most amazing thing to him about LeBron was that he has the ability to be a force at virtually any position on the floor, from point guard to center. He can and does do it all, guys. All right, Doris. Moore is with the bucket. And Curry, such a tremendous balance to his game. And he can square up on a dime to knock down shots. I mean, that's a focus also of his strength. Doesn't do it with conventional pattern shooting drills. It's a lot of stuff to challenge his balance while he's on the move and shooting. Ball, that's good. And a really good way to start the game. He's a guy who, if he gets it going early, he's going to give you problems. Curry against Wall. From deep, Curry gets the bucket. Curry's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for the Warriors. And for Steph Curry, to me, that balance is remarkable. I mean, it used to be customary beyond the arc to fake a defender into the air and then step into a mid-range two, but Curry has introduced that more efficient sidestep for the wide-open three good there but they just can't get the shot to fall yeah but that was a beauty good looking shot well executed play i wouldn't be surprised to see them go back to it yeah heard the whistle and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down and greg to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control that's not easy to do i know you're kind of a little fella but i was a big guy when i played so i know how difficult that is that was impressive mm, i see and when you look at Draymond Green, he's not a guy who will wow you with his numbers or his athleticism, Clark. He brings a lot of intangibles, though. And I remember talking early in his career with Tom Izzo up in Michigan State saying he ate those exact things that he gives you so much more than just what you see. And his current coach and our former partner, Steve Kerr, raves about him. He's the heart and soul of the Warriors, in Steve's words. Now here's Beal after the miss from Stephen Curry. Gorge out with a screen for Wall. Feeds it to Gorton. A baseline J. And misses it off the right side of the rim. You love the close out on that possession. Excellent defense. Active. And he made it a very tough shot for him. And, and that's just careless. there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game. Wizards trail by three. Gortat with a screen on Thompson. Wall dishes to Gortat. Pass to Porter. Goes up on the high post. Good as the jump shot falls. Porter's got his first basket of the night. Golden State's gone two of four from beyond the arc to start the game. From deep three-point range, Curry, good. The Wizards have gone 4-7 from the field, shooting over 50%. There's a screen by Gortat. Wall passes to Gortat. Porter kicks to Wall. Off the pick. And a kind roll that time off the rim as that one falls. Wall's got six. And that was Gortat. He usually scores, but that time set a nice screen. Curry. Another miss by Curry. And sometimes we all... I just want to show people that we have the range. <laughs> yeah, you speaking from experience? We already know how good his range is. He shouldn't be firing from that deep. Mm -hmm. The Warriors lead him. And here we go. Fast break. Curry's got it. And James throws it down. Wow, that's a really 
smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. So timeout called here. The first for Washington. Steph Curry does so many things well, Clark, on the floor. But one area he had struggled with was turning the ball over. Yeah, and after a slow start, Kevin, to the year in the turnover department, Curry was able to slowly right the ship. And Curry and his turnovers last year, a lot of it might have been getting used to a new system. But, but you can see he's also tightened up his play to reduce the giveaways. And the Warriors with some changes. Durant's checked in for Green. Anthony comes in for LeBron. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Curry. Wizards trail by four. And, you know, Curry knew turnovers were a problem. <laughs> How about his mom even instituted a fine on him? And so any time he has more than three in a game, he owes his mom $100 per turnover. Man, can you always depend on him or what to lead you to the right place with that pass? Money. Thornton against Thompson. Now, here is Irving. He's covered closely. They really depend on him to convert those chances. A lot of times, even with solid D draped on him, they expect him to make it. The score now all even. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. And a moth assist. And good on the basket. Book it. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. Now here's Sessions. Dudley with a screen for Sessions. And unable there to get the go-ahead bucket. Golden State's gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Durant, no good. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And the Warriors with some changes. Andrew Bogut checked in for Shaq. Hudson comes in for Thompson. And it's Stephen Curry in for Irving. Warriors have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the first quarter. Here's Curry with the three. They get it back. Bogut kicks to Curry over Sessions. No good off the front iron. And if the shot's not there, you've got to understand that. Move the basketball. Yeah, exactly. And I'm not quite sure what his mindset or what he was thinking there. I mean, that was just a terrible. And some tough time for the Knicks. But you listen to Carmelo Anthony. It's clear he's invested. Knicks fans rooting for Carmelo to help make New York a playoff venue once again. And you know what? It's going to take a lot more than Carmelo playing strong to get the, the, the Knicks back into the playoffs and, and, and to make them a destination to where NBA stars want to come. Neither team able to build much of a lead up to this point as we start the second quarter. And from what we've seen so far from the Warriors, you know, how would you grade them? The roof is up right now, guys. It's raining in here. A lot of threes through the first. Hey, sometimes when it rains, it pours, and they have not let up from beyond the arc. They've got LeBron James. Steph Curry is out there at Bloodson. And it's Durant, and it's Green in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for the Golden State Warriors to start the second quarter. Here's Durant. That drops. Durant's got it all tied up now for the Warriors. I tell you what, it's it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And the thing about Bradley Beal, when he suits up, the entire lineup becomes exponentially more potent. Quick, powerful athlete, Greg, high basketball IQ, 
you know, had the great teaching at Florida, carries it to the NBA. Opponents have to account for him, I think, on, on both ends of the floor. And that's a great point, Kevin. I mean, coming out of college, a lot of people compared him to Ray Allen. I mean, he, he possesses that next-level smoothness and, and body control that's often indicative of a true difference maker. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. O'Neal's checked in for Durant. Thompson comes in for Curry. And it's Kyrie Irving in for Eric Bledsoe. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. And, you know, going back to Bradley Beal, the bottom line is he's a winner. Last year, the Wizards went 8-9 and nine with Beal out of the line. Hard to argue with those facts and numbers. Wizards have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, 3 of 6. Passes it to Porter. Moore as a screen. Porter kicks to Beal. O'Neal with the rebound. And when you talk about Bradley Beal, it's not just having him in the lineup that matters. It's having him at his best. When he's at 100% health, there are very few guards in the league who can keep up with him. Truly one of the game's great young talent. Moore as a screen. Beal against Irving. Beal dishes to Morris. Count the bucket. Morris has got six. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. And, and what a first year it was for Steve Kerr and the Warriors. It was the best debut as a new coach ever. 67 wins. He also established a franchise win total in his first year. On our old partner, Steve Kerr also got a chance to coach the West All-Stars and Greg, his record-setting debut season with the Golden State Warriors. Clark, he really hit a, a lot of big milestones early. Well, none of us are surprised at his success. No. I mean, Steve... Whoa! Yeah, how about the sharp steal and then run out? It looks like they're ready to put the hammer down. Well, we've been waiting for one of these teams, Greg, to pull away. Maybe that'll be a springboard for him. Could be. A dunk like that coming off a great defensive play has to build some momentum. That Kia slam can replay really gave you a good look at the action. Washington calls timeout. They can't guard us on the floor. The thing that was obvious to me, last year the Facing. Wizards really matured Facing. as a team. I mean, they played as if they expected to win instead of a group kind of coming into their own. I thought they just showed a lot more composure and maturity on the court. Here's Beal. The Warriors pull it in. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Thank you, guys. I got a chance to hear what Randy Whitman was saying to the team. He made no mistake that their plan was to run their offense through Morris. Coach is looking for big things from him throughout the rest of this game on the offensive end. A lot of the scoring burden will fall on him. He also wants to see a patient offense, work for the shot, move the ball around, and as he told them, quote, if you don't see a good shot, find someone who does. They're not going to wait for halftime. They want those adjustments to have an impact right away. Over to you, Kevin. Thanks again, Doris. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. As you said, the Wizards did look more mature last year on the floor with their plate. They made sure to add veterans to achieve that. And, and not just any veteran, but a future Hall of Famer in Paul Pierce. I mean, his presence on the team, I, I think, really is what propelled them to achieve new heights. And it also went beyond just Paul Pierce. That roster had a combined 490 playoff games. And, and, and that playoff veteran leadership, I felt, really helped this young core to grow. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. And it's Irving missing. Wizards have gone 6 of 13 so far from the field here in the second quarter. Temple the pass to Sessions. He dishes it to Morris. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the deep thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. 
And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Nene. I tell you what, that's just goodness. Jared Dudley's checked in for Marquise Morris. 25 left. Oh! oh! How about that, <laughs> What range on that shot? It's amazing. Nene setting the pick for Sessions. And Nene gets it to go on the assist by Sessions. Nene's got his second bucket of the game to go. The drive by LeBron. Cannot hit. Wizards leading by three. From deep, Fortin, no good. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Shaq against Dudley. Second shot opportunity. O'Neal misses. Wizards have gone 8 of 16 from the field in the second quarter. A nice, efficient 50%. Here's Temple. And a miss there on the triple. Golden State's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. Agreed. The body control essential in that situation. I mean, if you're giving up a bunch of height, then you better be able to manufacture things in the air. Here's Thornton. O'Neal with the rebound. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Wizards lead by one. And now let's catch up with Doris Burke, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Yes, Kevin, here with Stephen Curry. And, Steph, you've had to deal with a lot of defensive pressure. What do you need to do to counteract that? I just got to slow down. I mean, uh... They're playing good defense, trying to trap the ball screens and take on a three-point line. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back, everybody. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. A pretty close game for the Wizards throughout the first quarter. The biggest lead of the quarter was only three points as they traded baskets back and forth. The second quarter was a strong effort for them as they continued to battle and they were... And now folks, it's just about time for the third quarter to begin. We will see you after the final buzzer. Welcome back, everyone. The second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. Take a look at what Curry's done. He has 12 points and one rebound. And what, is there an area of the floor he hasn't scored from tonight? I do not think so, Greg. I mean, three-point range. He can get it done inside. He's really made it happen from everywhere. And on the floor for Randy Whitman as we get into the second half. The talented Wall and Beal team up in the backcourt. Porter is out there with Markeith Morris. And it's Gortat in at the five. Rome in the paint. Ron James by many surveys. And no surprise here, GA, the most popular athlete in America. I mean, the highest paid player in the league. And you know what? He deserves it. This guy has really carried the mantra as the face of our game, uh, as well as anybody. And I tell you what, people now are starting to acknowledge the guy also delivers when it matters. Mm -hmm. Here's Wall. Goes back up. And the layup is up and in. Porter's got his second basket of the night. He got a great read of where that miss was going, and that allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Durant for three, and the Warriors get it back. O'Neal knocked away. On its way from Curry for two. Not enough on that one as it misses. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down. Oh. That's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And, you know, that lead's only going to grow if they're not prepared to defend a little more staunchly than that. And that last replay courtesy of Kia. Boy, I tell you, the Warriors did something that no other team had ever done before. They ended the regular season ranked first in field goal percentage and field goal 
low percentage defense. Essentially, they were the best offensive and defensive team in the league. Remarkable. Wall against Irving. Morris with a screen on Irving. And Wall kicks to Morris. Here's Durant. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. His eyes just simply light up when he gets that close to the bucket. And you just know what he's going to do with the basketball. Last season for the Warriors really dominated from beginning to end to lead the league and break both offensive and defensive efficiency. And Kevin, a lot of people knew the Warriors were good at offense. I mean, but they've been equally as good defensively over the past few seasons. Flying under the radar for whatever reason, not the case going forward. The signature bucket for him on that possession. They can get themselves in front quickly with a few more like that. Curry wide open. No good. That would have tied it. Wizards leading by three. One-on-one -on -one fast break. That's good. And that's 12 points for Markeith Morris. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. Irving dishes to Curry. The tray. Warriors the rebound. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Wizards have gone 5 of 7 from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. Wall attacking. Quarter outside. Offensive rebound. Boy, he shows a lot of desire when he's fighting for that tough board. And his length doesn't hurt either. And the Warriors miss again. Washington's gone 1 of 2 from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. And it's Shaq with the rebound. Shaq's got 7 rebounds in the game. Irving for 3. And again, it's the Warriors missing. The Wizards with the lead. From 12 feet out, Morris slams it home for the putback. That's the intensity you like to see on the offensive glass. Go get that pump. Curry. Look at that shot. How did that go in? How about that? Oh. <laughs> Wall sets a screen for Beal, and it's Wall at the elbow. Irving with the steal to the paint. Beal with the steal. O'Neal against Porter. The Warriors pull it in. James has got three rebounds so far in the game. You know, not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. There's the bucket. Good. I mean, even he was surprised to be that open. Beal against Curry. Beal's shot is good. Beal's got seven. Gorzak with the steal. Beal's shot is good. And a moment here to take a look at some of the hustle stats for the Wizards. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort this defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. And, and also, how about the points they've gotten in transition or on the fast break tonight? That's been a huge factor as well. One of the most dominant players in 2014 is Kevin Durant, of course, winning the league MVP. Then last year, cut short. We know that he's now on a mission to get back to that level, and Greg, it's hard. Yeah, you know, it, it all came down to help for Kevin Durant. And, and at this point in his career, I mean, he's got the maturity. He's developed the skill set. Uh, he's just got to stay on the court. And really, when you talk about the game of basketball, the rest will take care of itself. And the Wizards are going with a whole new group out there now. Sessions passes to Dudley. The putback and the nay slams it in. And the Wizards lead by six. And defensively, they're on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Here's Temple. It's hauled in by LeBron. LeBron's got four rebounds now tonight. It's tipped. Down low, here's Thornton. The shot's good. Sessions making him pay. Sessions has got three assists now in this one. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Temple. 
to the middle. And that basket pushes the lead to double digits. And it's eight points for Nene. Boy, I tell you what, nice little run here that they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key there. Getting point blank looks time and time again. Curry. And released it in time, but it's off the mark. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double digit ball game. Washington out in front, up by 10. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. Thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Warriors trail by 10. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And Golden State looking at who they've got. We've got Steph Curry. Durant is out there with LeBron James. Then there's Shaquille O'Neal. And it's Irving at the point guard position. Once again, he's able to knock down the long-range jumper. He's on automatic. Just a brilliant game. The name, the screen. And Sessions kicks to Nene. And he drops it in from the low post. And the Wizards lead by nine. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. The drive by James. Some solid defense there by Nene. That's something they need to do more of. Get after it on the glass. Go get those bolts. Clark, it wouldn't hurt. Some extra possessions would definitely help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. It's deflected. Oh, and a fast break for the Wizards. Sessions leading the charge. Wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. The Roracle. 